Hello and welcome. Today, we're diving into a fascinating comparison, the Arctic versus Antarctica. Location. The Arctic is in the Northern Hemisphere, centered on the North Pole. Antarctica is in the Southern Hemisphere, at the South Pole. Continent status. The Arctic is an ocean surrounded by continents, while Antarctica is a full continent, surrounded by ocean. So, Antarctica wins on that one. Size. Both are roughly 14 million square kilometers, though the Arctic size varies with sea ice. We'll call that a tie. Permanent landmass. The Arctic has none, it's sea ice over an ocean. Antarctica is a solid, rocky continent. Antarctica takes this point. Temperature. The Arctic is warmer, with average temperatures from minus 10 to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Antarctica is much colder, averaging minus 20 to minus 60 degrees. Coldest recorded temperature. The Arctic's coldest was minus 68 degrees Celsius. Antarctica's record is a staggering minus 89.2 degrees at Vostok Station. So, Antarctica is definitely colder. Ice coverage. The Arctic has seasonal sea ice, while Antarctica has a permanent, thick ice sheet. That's another point for Antarctica. Ice thickness. Arctic sea ice is only about 2 to 3 meters thick. Antarctica's ice sheet is massive, with an average thickness of over 2 kilometers. Antarctica wins again. Sea level impact. If all the ice melted, the Arctic's melt would cause a 7 meter sea level rise. Antarctica's would be a colossal 58 meters. Flora. The Arctic has mosses, lichens, and even some shrubs. Antarctica has only mosses and lichens. The Arctic has more vegetation. Fauna or land animals. The Arctic is home to polar bears, foxes, and caribou. Antarctica has no native land mammals, only penguins and seals on the coast. The Arctic has more diversity. Human presence. The Arctic has indigenous communities like the Inuit, along with others. Antarctica has no native population. Research stations. The Arctic has about 10 to 15 year-round research stations. Antarctica has over 40, making it the hub for polar science. Population. The Arctic has a population of around 4 million. Antarctica has zero permanent residents, only a few thousand seasonal researchers. Population. The Arctic has a population of around 4 million. Antarctica has zero permanent residents, only a few thousand seasonal researchers. Governance. The Arctic is divided among countries like Canada, Russia, and Norway. Antarctica is governed by the Antarctic Treaty, a great example of international cooperation. Natural resources. The Arctic has known oil, gas, and mineral reserves. Antarctica has coal and iron ore, but they are inaccessible. Climate change impact. The Arctic is warming at an alarming rate, with rapid ice loss. Antarctica is experiencing ice shelf collapse but is warming more slowly. The Arctic is more impacted. Access and tourism. It's much easier to visit the Arctic via cruises and flights. Antarctica is difficult and expensive to get to. The Arctic is more accessible. Sovereignty claims. Several nations claim parts of the Arctic. Under the treaty, no country owns Antarctica, making it a neutral territory. Protected area status. The Arctic has partial protection. Antarctica is fully protected under the Antarctic Treaty, which bans mining and military activity. Auroras. Both have spectacular light shows, the Aurora Borealis in the north and the Aurora Australis in the south. A definite tie. Highest elevation. The Arctic's highest point is a peak in Greenland at over 5,600 meters. Antarctica's highest is Mount Vinson at 4,892 meters. The Arctic is taller. Scientific importance. The Arctic is crucial for studying climate change and indigenous cultures. Antarctica's ice cores provide invaluable data on paleoclimate and Earth's history. Both are scientifically vital.